You are listening to episode 61 of the Confident Coaches Podcast, the one that kicks off a brand new year. Hello, 2021. Welcome to the Confident Coaches Podcast, a place for creating the self-confidence you need to do your best work as a life coach. If you want to bring more boldness, more resilience, and more joy to your work, this is the place for you. I'm your host, Amy Latta. Let's dive in. Hey, Confident Coaches. How are my Latta loves doing out there? I hope you're doing amazing. Friends, it is January 5th. It's the first Tuesday of the new year. I'm so excited to be here with you. We survived. We did it. (laughs) Actually, it's just the next Tuesday. We realize that like calendars are just like a construct, right? It's just next Tuesday. That's all it is. But we feel renewed. We feel ready to go. I want to offer you this. There's literally nothing that you can't handle because we are here today on Tuesday, January 5th of 2021, listening to episode 61 of your favorite podcast. All right. So listen, I'm really excited about today's podcast because, well, it's a little bit of getting back to the basics. And that is inspired by what I'm getting ready to share with you. So I'm recording this the last week of 2020. I'm technically talking to you in the future. (laughs) I'm coming from the past into the future, right? And so I recorded a week ahead of time. And we had our last call for my July class of Confident Coaches Mastermind. It's only the third group that I've taken all the way through, you know, and every single group I take through, you know, we all learn a little bit more. The coaching gets a little bit better. The concepts get a little bit tighter. I study more of my clients of like what their needs are and I get simpler and quicker in coaching them. And so I know I've talked about Barbara before. In fact, I might have even mentioned her in last week's episode, (laughs) but what she shared with the group brought tears to the entire group today when she shared this. Like, this right here is why I know Confident Coach's Mastermind is for every single life coach. This right here. She said, I just want to say something. I have to warn you guys, I'm super emotional today. Like, we were all super emotional. I just want to say that at the beginning of this year, I was a two in my confidence, and now I'm a nine. And here's the thing. This is so powerful for me because I fought the whole thought model thing. My thinking was it works for everybody else, but me, I better just keep taking action. That was the belief that I had. And Amy, I have to tell you, I'm so grateful for meeting you back in February because I knew where I was in February was not where I needed to be for my mindset, for my current thinking. And I had a lot of shame because I've been a coach for a long time and I should have figured it out by now, right? I should know better. I should, I should, I should. And when we talked with you, I knew I really just need to get back to the basics. And that's exactly what I did. And the shift in my personal life has been massive and I've made more money in four months of this year than I made all of last year. Amy, I do not have the words for the gratitude I feel for the work that you do and the support of the group because I can survive and thrive when life is happening. And man, if this year, if a lot of life didn't happen and I could still do it, I can feel confident and I don't have to know what the future is. And had I not done this program, I would not be where I am right now. I'm so grateful that I get it. I get it now. And there's nothing that can come my way that I will not thrive through. Thank you. Oh, that right there. Like, Barbara, you are welcome to every single one of my students. I then continued to coach and they shared how they shifted and how they changed. Some of them did have huge money gains. Some of them just learned that life doesn't have to stop them. Some of them went from barely even being on social media or or telling anybody that they were coaching to telling people all of the time that they're coaching and not giving up on themselves. But this right here moves me to my bones 
because it reminds me of why this confidence is not a luxury and why it is a necessity for every single life coach that is out there right now. And listen, we are still enrolling for the January group. These results are possible for you. This work is possible for you. Like again, I know I said it last time, if you get this much confidence mojo just having me every week, imagine what having me in your brain every week can do. And that's what you get inside of CCM. Okay, so you can still register. You need to be in this program if you are not already, if you're not already doing this work. And I'm going to shift right into how this podcast right here is a little bit different. We're going to kickstart this year, my friends. I'm a little fired up. Can you tell? It's like it's, I'm either going to be pounding fists or I'm going to be crying tears. I don't know which way it's going to go. Typically, I share a concept that I use inside of Competent Coaches. You know, I share a little snippet of a tool that we use or some of the coaching that I do. You know, and I have a bunch of concept episodes going to be coming up. Like I'm the Competent Scale, how to un believe, how to decide. These are all things that I'm teaching in my current Competent Solution training this week. But Barbara's recap, plus something that happened today inside the Competent Solution training, made me realize that sometimes I overlook the basics and why we are all here in the first place. So I've got 300 people in my Confident Solution training this week. I mean, that right there, 300 life coaches that all signed up for this training the week before Christmas and New Year's when nobody wants to do a damn thing, that right there is proof how much confidence is needed, right? And on our first day of training, I asked the attendees to share a belief that they have that they don't want to believe anymore. It one student, Amy, not me, her name is Amy also, she answered this, I can't believe something I haven't done before. It's so simple. Do you hear that? Let me say it again. I can't believe something I haven't done before. It's so simple. It feels so true and it packs such a sucker punch, does it? I can't believe something I haven't done before. Like, how does that make you feel, right? Like defeated before you even get out of bed. And the thing is, is it's just not true. I mean, none of the thoughts that they shared are true unless you want them to be. But that right there, believing you can do something you haven't done before, it's literally the backbone of everything that I do, every tool I've made, every podcast I've recorded, every coaching session I lead is to show my brain and your brain how you actually can believe what you have never done before. That you have to learn how to believe what you've never done before because it's the believing that's going to create the seeing, not the other way around. Seeing is believing is a bunch of bullshit. Believing is seeing, my friends. That is the essence of confidence, confidence that builds your life coaching business on a solid foundation instead of a shaky built on quicksand foundation. Again, I think I've shared with this on the podcast. I know I've shared this in trainings. Having massive success without a foundation of confidence is like building your business on quicksand. It will eventually sink under the weight of your expectations. If you don't learn how to believe in yourself before you've done something, because even once you've done something, you may still not believe you've done it. You'll think it's a fluke. You'll think that you can't replicate it. And it's simply not true. It's literally not true. I can't believe something I've never done before. That's literally a lie. Because I want each of you right now to think of everything that you have done before that you had never done before. Think about that. What have you done before that you've never done before? Literally everything. (laughs) Literally everything in your life that you are doing right now. There was a moment when you had never done it before. Like you probably can't remember toddlerdom, but there was a point where you didn't know how to walk, learning to walk, learning to ride a bike, learning to drive a car, learning to do calculus. And maybe calculus wasn't your thing. Maybe it was something else, right? Learning to read high literature, learning to read art, right? I I don't know, but I still remember. First time I'd ever done calculus, I was pretty sure I couldn't do it. You want to know what? And then I figured it out. Learning to parent, 
Hello, learning how to adult. I know a lot of times we still kind of feel like we're learning how to do it, but we're doing it, right? And yet, how many of you right now are listening, telling yourself that you can't believe you can do what you've never done before, that you can't believe that you can be good at marketing your coaching, that you can't believe you can be good at selling your coaching, that you can't believe that you can be good at coaching your clients and showing them their thinking and helping them get results, Why are so many of you choosing to believe that when you don't have to? You can show me all the evidence of how you haven't done it yet, but I'm simply asking, who the fuck cares? You never walked before you walked. You never biked before you biked. You never drove before you drove. You never calculus before you calculus, right? You never parented before you did, and yet that didn't stop you. Why would you let one of those aspects of building a life coaching business stop you simply because you haven't done it before? Like in all of mankind, we have never not let not doing something before stop us. We never have. We wouldn't be here. Like think of this right now. Think of every great invention ever created. Hi, My name's Amy. I'm talking to you on a podcast that you're probably listening to in a pair of AirPods or some sort of headphone through a handheld computer that you're carrying around in your hand that's being broadcast over the internet that's being run by computers, which is run by electricity. Literally stuff that never used to exist in the world until somebody put it out into the world. There's so much evidence in the world that humans can do what they've never done before that they can believe in something they have yet to see, that we actually do believe we can fly from one land to another land, that we actually do believe that we can talk to somebody who's thousands of miles away, that we actually do believe that we can figure out how to stand on the edge of an ocean, firm and tall in our belief in ourself, like a lighthouse and shine our light out into the dark, deep ocean and let our people know, hey, here's who I am. Here's what I have to offer. Here is the harbor I'm offering for you. Do you want to come in here? The boats that don't need you or don't want you, they'll keep on sailing by, but your people will come in, but you have to be willing to stand tall in your belief that they are out there in the dark and you are going to shine your light and let them know I am here. That's what marketing and selling your coaching is. And all coaching is, is showing your clients their thinking, which is what I'm doing right now. You're thinking that you can't do what you've never done before. And I simply will not tolerate that bullshit that you can't believe you can do something you've never done before because all of humanity exists and functions now in this day and age because that's what we do. That's what we do as human beings. I call bullshit coaches, and you should too. You should call bullshit to these thoughts in your head. Also, the reason that you're not calling bullshit to these thoughts in your head is proof positive that you need a coach by your side to point out this bullshit you keep believing and to teach you how to unbelieve it so that it doesn't have to stop you anymore and you can be confident, not because you know what you're doing and you are sure that nothing bad's ever going to happen, but confident because you know you can handle whatever comes your way. I'm serious. Go look for every single thing that you've never done before, before you did it. And then tell yourself if you're still going to insist that you can't believe something you've never done before. That is why confidence is necessary. This is why this work is not fucking optional. That is why Confident Coaches Mastermind is not something that just might be nice maybe someday in the future, but it's necessary work for everybody out there. Listen, guys, I have long-term goals that goes way beyond life coaches. I believe confidence is something. Believing that you can do what you've never done before, every single thing is something every human being needs to remember that they are capable of. I'm telling you today and eventually the entire world. Amy, in the Confidence Solution training, I am so glad that you shared that belief that you were believing that you don't want to believe anymore. Because I sometimes forget the simplest and most confidence killing belief we all have sometimes. What if this is your work this year, coaches? 
this year in the brand new glorious year of our Lord 2021, to truly believe something you haven't done before, to become more confident in selling and coaching and marketing, which will make coaching and selling and marketing so much easier? What if that is the one thing you haven't tried is belief beforehand? If you've tried everything else, what if you tried belief? That's what we do here. That is what we do in Confident Coaches. It's how we become Confident Coaches, as we believe we can do what we've never done before, no matter what's happening outside of us right now. It's possible for every single one of you listening to this right now. And if you don't want to wait any longer, listen, get your butt in the January Mastermind. The kickstart is this week. The boot camp is next week. The first call is January 19th. You can catch up. You are not behind. Get your booty in here. Do not wait to learn how to believe something you've never done before while you sit around and twiddle your thumbs until April or July when the next round opens up. Get your booty in here now. Let's do this work now. All right, my friends? For real, I cannot wait to see what you all create this year. All right, competent coaches, remember, till next week, what do we do? We do epic stuff. Coaches, I have created a brand new freebie offer just for you podcast listeners. I created a brand new training called Stop Overcomplicating Confidence because I see my coaches do it all the time, make this confidence thing way harder than it has to be. In this free training, you're going to learn exactly how you overcomplicate confidence, what's creating that, and how to stop it. Here's the best part. All of it, less than an hour. Less than an hour of your time, you will feel more confident in less than an hour, right? Yes. Friends, this is the best training I've ever done. So visit amylatta.com forward slash podcast gift to get yours. Again, that's amylatta.com forward slash podcast gift. Go now and feel more confident in just an hour. Thanks so much for listening to the Confident Coaches podcast. I invite you to learn more. Come visit me at amylatta.com. And until next week, let's go do epic stuff.